only you are doing great. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the environment correctly and how to install uh, an IDE for writing your code. After that, we will try to run a very simple program uh, and then you can feel how to run a real application uh, with Java. So I don't expect much from very beginning tutorial. So the first step you need to install um, your Java environment. To do that, you go to oracle.com to the oracle. Yeah, it's typo. Oracle.com and you you see under the resource, you click for software download and you will find something Java here. Try to scroll down and you will see Java JDK. That means uh, Java development toolkit for developer. So you click here and you scroll down. Try to download the JDK for the Java 8. Java Standard Edition 8 here, and you click on download. Okay, so it will navigate you to this download page. So you need to select a correct version uh, with your machines. So in this case, for example, I'm on in a Mac machine, I will select this one. For you, I think it should be Windows 64. Uh, most of um, Windows PC now CD4 so you can do this one in case you are IDC you can do this one and you just install like a normal uh, application after that you need to make sure that uh, your Java was installed correctly so how to do that you open the command line tool on your Windows or you open the terminal on your Mac And then you specify your command Java hyphen version enter. So it will print out the Java version for you. So does that mean your your Java was installed correctly on the environment? So the next step that you need to have an ID integration development environment for you to write your code and then execute your code, okay? So I would suggest you to install the IntelliJ IDE. So you can search IntelliJ uh, from chat brand, enter, and you will see something like chatbrand.com here. You just click here and you click on the download button. There are two versions for you. The first one will be Ultimate and it has the free trial 30 days. So you just need to select the community version that will be enough for you. So you just need to click on download here. Okay. So I already have the IntelliJ installed on my machine here, right? So after that, you open your IntelliJ after you install successfully. I have a UTMA version, but you can use a community version that works as well. So now you, um, I think for the first time, you will see something like setup, something like that for the team or something like that. You just uh, select or you can list them by default. It's up to you. And then you will be navigated to this screen. You just click on new project. Now you will see you click on Java and you don't select anything here because we are just, you know, uh, exploring some Java development. And you will see the project at the case. It should be uh, the version that you already installed on your machine here. It should be displayed here. So you click on next and click on next again. It will ask you about um, 
the name for your project. And you need to remember the location. You can change the location. Uh, it's up to you, okay? So in this case, I want to keep my project under the short cost folder here. And I will specify a name Java for QA engineer for this tutorial. So after that, you click on finish. This will open a new screen for you and just wait a little for it to update the index everything here. So under your project, you will have something like a source folder. This is where you write your code here. So you the first uh, the first step that you need to create a package to contain your code. So a package uh, technically is is just a folder and to keep your code in structure. Right click on the source folder here and you click uh, on the new package here and you input a name. So in this case, I want to input the name lesson one. Okay, and I enter. So under this practice lesson one, I right click again and I will create a new Java class. So because Java is a object oriented programming, so you will see most of the file will be in Java class. So that means we will have some utility file that will not Java class. But for Java code, all of them will be under Java classes. So you will have lesson to understand what is class, what is object later. But now you need to understand that every single code you want to run, you need to create under a Java class file. So just new Java class. And you need to input a name for it. So in this case, I want to input a name that's hello world. Enter. And you can see from the top, we have the package name here. If you try to delete it, we will have some error raising here. And you can see we are missing the package statement. And in this case, you need to input manually. Uh, again, that's it, the package and the name here. And we have a class with hello world here, you can see. So under this class, we need a main method. So if we don't have any main methods, we cannot execute our Java code. So basically you just put main and then we will have a succession here for you. You just enter and you will see. So the main methods will be all the way like this. What's it published, you will understand later when you learn about the access modifier lesson. What's it stated? What's it void? You will understand when you learn about the methods lesson. And the name is always meant. And the string arguments here, that's it, the argument that you supply when you run the um, we call it the Java environment variable, but you don't need to care about this right now. We will face uh, some problem and we will try to solve it by uh, arguments here. So let me do it again. As a very beginning lesson, I want to do something slowly here. So you put something main and then you enter. We, we have a main method here. So inside this main method, you will print out something. So uh, as a host key, you just put S O U T. And you can see print a screen to a system out here, you enter. If you want to boost it manually, you should put system dot out of print ln, something like that. System dot out dot print ln, right? That's because you want to do something fast. So just put S O you t enter and the IDE supports you to have the correct function here. And inside this 
is the now request something let's open it so we have the print rn and that means that we call the new line and print something out for us so let me supply a string we will work with a string later but in this lesson you need to understand that a string will be covered by uh, a double a double code like this so you put something like double and the rest will be successed by the id and you put something like hello word that's it and how to run it if you want to run it you can see the 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 print button here you click click on it and then you see run hello world that's in the class name and the main methods here you see or you can run click on run here and you click on run it will ask you where you need to run the code and then you choose the class here it will select by default the main methods here to run because it always look for the main methods in a class when you want to run something okay so we see something like hello world here so this is the very first lesson so i just want to make sure that you can install trade case correctly on your environment and i want to see that you can install the IntelliJ. this is the ide for you to write code and i want to see successfully create a new project a new java project you create a new package to contain your code create a new class with class name then you create the default main methods here and you print now hello world just like this so try to do all of the things especially for if you are a beginner in programming and in java and see you in the next lessons